Hi everybody, Brianne from Pixide here. Hope everyone's having a good day. Welcome to another Marvel Monday. Today I'm going to be coloring Venom, one of my faves. I actually just recently watched the movie, um, well, a little bit ago now, but I really, really loved it. So it kind of inspired me to get this done. I've been wanting to do it for a while. So all that being ironed out, let's color him. I'm going to be using purple inspired uh, reflective colors on him. Because he's already mostly black, I wanna make him stand out. So I'm gonna be using some purple shadowing. And I did some Google searches to kinda of get some inspiration for this. So I picked out the palette Cosmic, and that's what I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna switch it to freehand, it's already on there. I'm gonna go to fade, and I'm just gonna start getting this purple worked in here to get an idea of what I'm gonna be going or what I'm gonna be doing forward with it. So I'm gonna use the darkest purple first. Then I'm gonna switch it over and go to my bloom. Go to my even lighter purple. Yeah, I don't think that other purple is gonna work, but these ones are good. So I'm gonna have to outsource a different purple. That almost looks pink, but it might work. I think it's okay. Spectacular is good too. Just trying out different purples to get the effect I want. Let's see, like a deep violet or something. I actually think that's pretty good so far. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it over to airbrush and I'm going to go to my fill and put it at the darker end of the purple and I'm just going to fill. Not everything, but I do want to fill some because I'm going to be adding highlights to some of these areas. So Venom, uh, for all of you who are fans, know that he is pretty much black and white. But I'm kind of trying to do different lighting with him to add some color to him because it, if I just left him black and white, it's almost exactly how the drawing is. So I just wanted to do something a little bit creative with him. Now his chest is always white and it has already kind of has that shading that I want in there. So I don't have to do much more there. I need somewhat of like a pinky. I'm gonna go to metallic fill for this cause I want some built in shading here. gonna just go to my I'm gonna check up here for a second I want to look through these colors again this would actually probably work well I'm gonna try this I'm going to go to airbrush I'm just gonna see if I can get some interesting highlights kind of happening with him here It's on automatic. I'm 
gonna use the pink too and kind of mix it with the purple. get a little bit of pink and purple reflecting on where it's usually white. I just want it to be a little bit different than what it normally is. But I'm gonna have to get some balance here as well because I don't want it too uh, pink or too purple. I do want the the accents there. Shading his eyes a little bit. if that pink is there that's the whole point but I just want it to be more muted I don't want it to look like he's actually pink I just want that lighting of it right so I got I laid the pink down now I'm going to just kind of blend it out a little bit and maybe add some more in certain areas as well Just do a little bit of kind of white happening here just because this is actually supposed to be white so I don't want to take away all the white I still want that that reflection of white if that makes sense I still want it to look like it's him but he's just picking up these other colors with the lighting Gonna grab my marker for a second here. I use marker a lot when I'm coloring comic book style stuff. It's a great way to add highlights. Adds highlights quickly and makes it look comic book style, I find. It's just, it's just a lot of artists use markers, copics, when they're doing comic style. And I find when you use it, just kind of makes it look more authentic. And you can layer it too, layer and blend. And don't forget the play with your opacities because it does make a difference on how vivid your highlight is. So you can always do a really hard highlight somewhere and then blend out some of the other ones like what I'm doing right now. Just makes it look a little bit more natural. I'm gonna highlight these Flawed fingers here. 
I gotta say, the movie wasn't how I expected it was gonna be. I like, well, I don't wanna ruin it for anybody who hasn't seen it, but I really, really uh, liked the spin on it. It was funny too, it had some funny moments. I'm just using um, the marker to kind of fill in some areas. It's good for that too. Play with the opacity and whatnot, and you can definitely fill in areas with it. I want his uh, fingers to be highlighted. I'm just playing with how much I want them to stand out. I do want that to definitely be standing out somewhat. Playing with colors a little bit, just to get like a blended highlight in some areas. If I don't like it, I'll just switch it back up. And I think that's good. I don't need to play with it too, too much. Gonna get a little bit more white in for the chest detail a bit here. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to go to, I need to use a shaded fill, so I'll just use the metallic one. Keep the tapping at the tip of the tooth so it's whitest at the tip, and you get the shading along the base here to where it goes into the gum line. I am digging the way he is looking, it's looking pretty fierce. Now what? Need to color his drool a bit here. Going to go to Go to my airbrush and go to my black and white palette for a second here. I just want to add a little bit more highlight to the teeth and just take away a little bit of that metal look. I don't want him to look like he has metal teeth, although it's kind of cool. I'm just uh, trying to blend out the saliva here. So it's shaded, but... Getting 
adds a little bit of detail in the tongue. Careful how much highlighting I add on the tongue. I do want it to stand out a bit, but I don't want it to look unnatural if that makes sense. I'm just gonna color match over here. I just want to blend the eye a bit. Blend that white bit just to make it look not so I like sharp lines when it comes to highlighting a lot of things but the eyes I feel like should have a little bit more of a softer looking looking highlight or shading or highlighting whatever you want to call it more of what I'm kind of going for. I'm actually pretty much digging the way this is going. This is what I wanted it to look like mostly. So that's a good thing. Just gotta add a little bit more white here. I just feel like it needs to have more white on the chest. I feel like if anything needs to stand out, it's this. I'm just kind of doing off-white, mixing it. So it's white, but it's a little bit off. That's the only thing I found stepping back and looking at it is Felt like this should be standing out more. I'm gonna use a true white now. Just add a little bit harder white in some spots. Some more highlights. Just trying to get that look, you know? There's a look I'm going for, and it's not that I want him to actually be purple, is I want him to be reflecting the color purple. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. more white highlights here. Just want to make them stand out just a bit more with that white. That's why it's always good to kind of get colors down and then do your highlights last. 
So then you can see how much of it you want and how much of it you don't. Do you want the hands to stand out though? Most definitely. Just get this darker purple in the background here. So I use the airbrush a lot for him, but it's because I'm trying to achieve a different type of look. Normally I would use the marker more when I'm doing this type of stuff, but it's just because of the different look I'm going for that I'm using the airbrush. I find it blends uh, nicely, so that's mainly why I'm doing that. For instance, I find that highlight a little bit strong, but I do want it to be strong. So just color match on the outside of it and kind of blend it so I get the white highlight, but it's not so stark or standing out so much. And then I can easily color match other areas and bring the colors that I've kind of mixed and created into other spots, making it look very similar all the way around so that colors are reflecting all the way around on him. I can add it back in some places where I might have put too much white. good balance of white and purple. I'm gonna grab my watercolor maybe, I'm thinking. Make sure I'm on automatic, which I knew I was, but just to make sure. Because I switch back and forth so much. And I'm gonna grab a really vibrant Pink. And this purple too. I think the last step will be the laser tool. Maybe, if I like it. Because the whole point that he's reflecting is because of the light, right? So I want to bring more of, more light into the picture. So that you can visually see why or get the get the mental picture of why it's reflecting on him. Here I might actually do freehand for a second. So 
one. I might not leave this, I'm not sure. I'm gonna try and get these highlights in where I can. I just feel like this one needs to be bigger or something. Hold on. Just trying to get it to blend a little bit there. You know, if I do it anywhere, I think I'll just go down the leg and leave the hand alone maybe, or try to make it look naturally. I don't want it to look unnatural. Well, it's going to look unnatural. It's venom, but I mean, I want it to mix well. I'm gonna leave some of that pink in there because it reflects nicely into the hand. Maybe I'll just leave it the way it was. It looks nice because the glow kind of reflects into the hand. And I think that's about it, guys. I'm digging it. I like it. I like the way it turned out. I think it looks pretty cool. What I was looking for uh, was to go for something like that. So you know he's still black. He's still venom, right? But he's reflecting these other colors that are vibrant in the background. Okay guys, Brienne from Pixite. I hope that you enjoyed this and if there's any characters that you want to see in the future and you're uh, color avidly on Marvel CYO or even if you don't and you want to start, leave a comment and we'll get to it. Have a great day. Bye.